This, this has definitely been a learning experience for us. Uh, the first thing I learned is that I needed to buy a new hard drive. The hard drive I had in my computer was basically full. We had like two gigabytes left. We needed an editing software. We downloaded Resolve, uh, which so far, uh, I think both me and Rachel have been very happy with. It seems very easy to learn, it's very intuitive, and best of all, it's free. We've already been pretty successful. Uh, that very first video that we sent, uh, the audio was clipping, which is uh, bad for us, I guess, but it was a learning experience. Uh, we since learned that we need to turn down gain on the microphone put uh, quite a bit, actually. It's just barely registered at all. But again, that's a learning experience, so we learned something from it. So the very first video, our only goal was to a, learn how to start a YouTube channel, which, and YouTube, to their credit, makes it incredibly easy. So if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I would encourage you to do it. Uh, again, my, good kudos to uh, YouTube for making it incredibly easy and intuitive. The second thing that we are trying to do is, of course, learn how to upload a video. So in the initial video, we didn't know how to edit a video, so it was just a single clip. Um, and uploading it was also incredibly easy. So again, credit to YouTube for making that process very easy. So we had a couple challenges. Our first video, the audio was clipping. Now we didn't even realize that till we uploaded it and listened to, it, to the video ourselves. And it, it was pretty apparent that that was the case. We went ahead and left it up there on purpose because it's illustrating our journey of learning how to make videos. And if you make videos, you're absolutely going to make some mistakes. Uh, and that's probably a good thing. You, as long as we learn from those mistakes and we get better and we correct those, uh, we're going to turn out, uh, you know, maybe not this video or the next video, but certainly a year or two from now, we'll probably be able to produce a good, high-quality video that we're uh, happy with. So having the opportunity to edit a video and put those different pieces together, I thought was actually pretty interesting. That was interesting just to do, which is not something that we'd done before. Unfortunately, when we went and output the movie and uploaded it to YouTube, we found out that we, the default that came with Resolve apparently was some strange format so that there's a black background around it. So the video, even if you maximize the screen, doesn't take up the entire screen. It's actually cropped down to a much smaller video. Now again, that's not a bad thing. We made a mistake. We learned from it. I'm sure when we upload this video, we're not going to make that same mistake again. When Rachel and I went to edit the video, I noticed immediately that the color balance between the opening scene with Winley sitting in this chair and the rest of the video, which was shot in the kitchen, looked significantly different. What happened is when Lee was sitting in here and we, it was actually naturally lit, there was light coming in from the windows in, on the so, both sides of her. So that gave uh, a different color balance than in the kitchen that had incandescent lighting on. That a combination of the incandescent lighting and the light reflecting off of the wood cabinets cast an orange glow, uh, which was significantly different, uh, which again, I noticed immediately. One of the cool features of Resolve is that you can actually adjust color in there. So we got, me and Rachel got to learn how that works. And I think we did a pretty good job being our first attempt. And in the end, both of the uh, color of the film shot in here in this chair and the kitchen matched and was very close. Our intent for our YouTube channel is to basically be a documentation of our process of learning how to edit videos. We realize that we won't do a stellar job in the beginning, uh, but as long as we enjoy the ride and learn something from it, I'll consider it a big win for us. Our intent is to make a video every two weeks. Uh, it'd be awesome if we could do it more frequently, but I don't think that's realistic. Uh, but again, it's just to keep it moving, keep interest in it. Uh, we definitely don't want it to be overwhelming or be a burden. 
So we'll release videos hopefully every couple weeks, again, as long as we're enjoying the process and learning something from it and getting better.